Hey, it's me. Today, I am in my studio. It's been a while. In fact, it's a little dusty. I just experienced that on my fingertips. I've really mainly been using this studio space for collabs. Oh my gosh! This is totally fine. <laughs> I'm not here to do a collab. Wandered alone for the night. Sorry to disappoint ya. Lil me by myself today. I guess I don't need this chair. Let's get this out of here. Ow. <coughs> now I can be nice and centered and lonely. <coughs> I do have things that I wanna do in here. I really need to stop spinning. This is why I don't have a spinny chair at home. This one rocks too. Now I'm rocking. Now I have lots of things around here that are fresh and new, but not decorated. This wall is the only thing in here that is decorated. I'm ready to bring in some chaos over here. I am going to start painting on things that are around the studio space to just spice everything up. You know how I like to do that. Obnoxify things. That's an adjective. It is now. My first victims, sorry, I just need to get them in eyesight. I have this big shelf of art supplies divvied up into different organizers. The theme over there is pink, natural wood, and marble. I'm digging it, I like it. I mean, I'm the one who picked it out for heaven's sake. However, it is lacking a little bit of um, obnoxion. So I'm gonna pick out a couple organizers from right over there and I'm just gonna paint on them. Oh. Ah! I've selected the two fattest organizers. This might be kind of ambitious, actually. Oh, we'll see. If I try to work on both of them at the same time, I can get more done, but it'll be a little chaotic. Or I can try to work on one at a time, but then I may not finish both of them. Knowing you guys, I think you would choose more chaos. That's what I'm gonna do. Holy crap. This one is full of tie-dye stuff. Why do I have so much tie-dye? Here we go. Transfer all of this. Let me actually put that in the trash can. This big daddy full of acrylic paint, which makes this bin incredibly heavy. I actually have another one of these right here because they came in a two pack. So I use this one on the shelf and then this one is just a floater. I don't really know what his job is or if he's really doing anything. I'm gonna paint on this one. I'll just switch it at the end. I'm gonna move this out of here. It's heavy. So we have two vacant bins. This one has a little bit of a story. You may notice that it's already painted. I ordered this. I wanted bubblegum pink and it came in this like dead mauve color. Very attractive, but not really what I wanted. I painted it, but did a really bad job. <laughs> it's mad streaky and just, whoa. This isn't even the right color. This is like a really washed out pink. We are gonna fix this. This one on the other hand has zero story. It came from Target and it's nothing. I do like the natural wood look. However, I've been looking at it for a while and it's time to get snazzy. <coughs> Okay, I do know that I want a pink background, so I'm gonna just start with that. Whoop. Oh, I love when they give us snacks. I'm gonna collapse this. Why is it bouncy? This, what? I got my fabric paint, chunky paintbrush. Kinda chunky, it's not that big, but it's not too small, okay. Nice crusty palette. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the appropriate pink color for this. Paint. Oh, we're painting, we're painting, we're painting. Paintbrush is really scratchy. And just like that, I've got a nice pink bin. Would that have been that difficult past me? Who was lazy? Streaky paint jobs. Not good, I just need to let this dry. I did get paint all up in there, everywhere. I don't care. While that's drying, I need to actually plan out my design for these things. I don't have my sketchbook sketchbook because that's at home, but I do have just a regular sketchbook. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Come here, sweetie, let me look at you. So what do we have here, a square? Okay. And then the other one is also a square, okay. For the pink one, I really wanna play up the pinkness. I'm in a mood to bring some characters in here. How many pink characters have I made? Pickled pink. 
pickled pink. I wanna do a kind of character collage on this. I'm kinda going back and forth between doing blobs or just my regular characters. What if I did my characters as blobs? <laughs> okay, yeah. Let me start transferring this design on. Oh, oh boy. How am I gonna do this? I feel like this is the best way to work on it. There's this weird black hole of emptiness. This will help. Georgie will stay in there. <laughs> He's fine. Wow, this is really uncomfortable actually. This is gonna be a long process. Maybe I should just stand. All right, that's fine. I'll alternate sitting and standing. It's Healthier. I have 16 characters on here, which means I'm gonna have to mix a whole lot of paint. So I'm gonna start in this corner here with a very special little being, Pickle. Let's get mixing, mixing, mixing. A little bit of green. Do I need a stool? I have another stool. This is the first time you're seeing my stool. Hey! <laughs> hey, I kind of feel like artisty. This is not pickle. In my art room, I have a bunch of pre-mixed paint, including a very lovely pickle green. I don't have any of that with me in my studio. It's gonna add a nice little chunk of time. And oh, I get to use my artistic Bearco paintbrushes that Chloe gave me. <gasps> oh yeah. I need to take these home. They're amazing. Wait, is this one pickle? Oh, that one's derp. Dang it. This one's pickle. My bad. Okay, pickle's painted. Can we use this green anywhere else? Well, we got Eustace over here. Go ahead and paint his mint choco ice cream. Okay, let me go ahead and start on derp. This is kind of a derpy color. Ugh, it's a little bit dark. Ugh. Fine, I'll make it lighter. Okay. <laughs> here you go, little derpy. And here goes Georgie. I'm gonna skip over here where I've got Tiger and Chubbs. Mega Chubbs. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna spend the next however long just blocking in these characters. It's time to get comfortable. Okay. Oh, hi! Oh, there's that. I got kind of the base down. I think I'm gonna switch and take a break from this. Where's my chair? It's so much more comfortable. Back up. Ah. <laughs> it's lunchtime. I kind of forgot to bring food and there's not much here. I will survive on this. You're just gonna watch me eat. Is that what we're doing? I got like all of one flavor. Welch. Probably time to switch my focus onto Miss Pink. I have an idea. I'm going to bring in pickled pink. If you don't know all about pickled pink, my mom likes to crochet and she has crocheted a lot of my characters and she invented pickled pink. Rumor has it that pickled pink is actually Pickle's girlfriend. It's a secret. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch her on here. Done. I cannot use my acrylics because this is fabric. Where are my popsicle sticks? We're good. Let me mix up a nice light pink. Here we go, sweetie. Paint her in. Wow, that's really light. Ah, I'm gonna have to paint over that. Boo! Um, dry. Now, pickled pink has teal-ish spines. That's a good base for right now. Switching projects. This is pretty much dry. Let's go. I'm gonna start in the very back, working out some of these details. Threw that at myself. And you know what? It is getting late. I actually have to pack up and go home now. Clearly this is not finished, neither is she. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. I'm gonna put my paint in a Ziploc and hopefully that will preserve. Cause I really don't wanna mix it all over again. Please stay alive. But yeah, I'll be back in the morning. Mm. I'm leaving. See you tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day. I have arrived in a new outfit, kind of. I'm wearing the same jeans. Also, my hair is still wet from the shower. I'm not gonna let that stop me because I am so powerful and brave. <laughs> 
I did myself a favor last night and neatened everything up. I still have my paint. Oh yeah, my paint has survived the bitter night. Let's see, who do I wanna start with? There is a lot of work to be done on this actually. Let's get this going. All right, this is getting there, but I think I'm gonna let this coat dry and then come back to it. Back to the pink bin. What do we have here? A big pink blob. Okay, this is kind of tricky because I want to add some shadows here, but the color of the shadows probably be the color of the background and then you're not going to be able to see it. it. Looks like the exact same color. Oh, poopy, poopy, poopy. Pickled pink needs all her pickled pink spots. I'm going to have to mix a pastel version of every single color. Bloop, 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 boop. Good. I don't know if I like it. I do need to add the eyes and nostrils. See if this changes everything. Maybe I don't like the highlights. Let's see what it looks like without those. I really was going to try to go for the lineless look and be all cool, but I feel like it needs an outline. Pause. I'm gonna stop right there because I'm definitely gonna dip my hand in wet paint. Back to my little friend over here. Time for details. Let's not mess this up. I think that's actually kind of done. Gosh, so many little eyes. I do want to put a nice protective clear varnish on top of this, but I need to make sure that it's absolutely completely dry so that I don't experience any catastrophic smearing. It does have a pretty nice impact. And guess what? Finishing this outline. There. I think I made her arm too small. Way too small. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, no, what am I doing? What have I done? Why did I do this? Oh. Let's see, I just wanna make it like thicker. Is the arm better? I think it's better. Voila. So after two days of painting, this is what I was able to accomplish. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would, just a little bit. For the pink bin, I've selected my pinkest character. And for this bin, I've selected a selection of characters in blob form. I quite like them. I will also show you how they look in their final resting place not death, their home, where they will live. Hopefully these kind of spice up that area just a little bit, add a little bit more personality and meanness to it. Meanness. <laughs> I don't like that word, let me not use that again. I am very happy with how both of these are. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me painting on things in my studio. If you wanna see me do it again, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.